SQL Data Types – The Basics To help you understand data types, we are going to look at a supplier invoice and compare the information shown to the data residing in the SQL database. Have a look at the following invoice. This invoice contains a lot of information. You can see the supplier name, invoice number, date and item description, price and total. All this information is stored as data in our SQL database. The underlying data used to create the invoice is stored in tables in the database, which is made up of columns and rows. All data in a column must have the same data type. So when the database is created, you need to tell the column what data type will be used. There are three main categories of data types, alphanumeric, numeric, and date time. Alphanumeric. This data is made up of characters and strings. If we have a look at our invoice, the invoice number BAS495 is saved in the invoice column in the AP invoice table. The column's data type is alphanumeric as it is made up of both letters and numbers, which are characters. In this example, it has six characters. You can define whether they are fixed characters, for example, you always use six characters, by defining the data type as char. Alternatively, you can be flexible by allowing the number of characters to vary the data type being varchar. Alphanumeric data types can also be referred to as strings. Strings must have quotation marks around them to indicate that they are strings. So if you have 367 in quotation marks, it indicates that the number is alphanumeric. Without the quotes, the number would be numeric and have a mathematical value. Other alphanumeric data type columns in the AP invoice table are the supplier, next payment entry, journal, branch, and reference columns. Numeric. The unit price for stock codes, A200 being 2205 and A201 being 1.42, is saved in the selling price column in the invoice price table. It is a numeric data type, more specifically a decimal. Numeric data containing between 1 and 15 integers and from 0 to 6 decimals is stored in this column. The original value monthly invoice balance 1 and monthly invoice balance 2 columns in the AP invoice table are all numeric fields. Notice that the zero values are shown as 0, 0.00. Date time. The invoice date, April 9th, also resides in the AP invoice table in the invoice date column, the data type being date time. If no time is defined, SQL will insert zeros into the time section. Typically, this field will always contain information, but if the date time isn't part of a primary key, a null value can be used. Other date time fields in the AP invoice table are journal date and due date. To recap, alphanumeric data consists of both letters and numbers and can have between 1 to 1000 characters, depending on the specific data type used. Numeric data only consists of numbers and contains 1 and 15 integers and from 0 to 6 decimals. Datetime data only ever holds date and time information and is always in the format of double C, double Y, double M, double D for the date and has eight zeros in this format for the time.